I might have just done the nastiest thing that I think I've ever done in my life. If you don't know, my best friend started working with me uh, about two months ago. I decided I wanted to prank him. He knows a bit what I'm like. Well, he knows definitely what I'm like. It was going to be difficult to do. There's things going on behind the scenes, and I thought, I know what will get him. Money. With the launch of uh, a new company, and I'm taking over another company, as well as all of the other stuff that we've got going on, money was the only way that I could really make him uh, believe me. I went ahead and pranked him. This one was really difficult to do because I didn't want to have to do this, but it was it's quite amusing. Um, <laughs> but I'm sorry. I love you. Leave a like on the video for me. Subscribe if you're new and let me know who you want to prank next. Part one was setting the scene. I had to make sure that there was a believable reason for me to have this conversation with Pud. So I got my business partner in on it. I got him to ring me up and tell me that we needed to put a big sum of money down um, which was going to mess with my finances a lot and cause big complications. And that's come to 20 grand. So what are we talking about? Just over like... <laughs> when does that need doing by? End of the month. Oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah. I should be able to sort it. It's gonna be fucking tough, but I should be able to sort it. Yeah, I might have to dip into some savings and stuff, but we should be able to sort it. Fuck, this just got a lot more expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to... I'll, I'll figure out some finances and stuff and see what we can do. Yeah, you, get, you can give me a call back in like half hour. I'll try and get everything settled now. All right, mate. Spot on. Thank you, brother. Tear up. Bye-bye. Oh, fuck. Now it's time to try and convince him that this is real and come up with some bullshit story to see if I can get him. Let me figure this out. So, I now need 20 grand by the end of this month because now we've put the order in. <laughs> and just some other fucking setup fees and it's like 20, just over 20 grand, which leaves me with a whole fucking grand left by the end of this year. By the time I've paid you, by the time I've paid everything else, that leaves me with about left each month, which means that by the end of the year, I am at left over. Fucking hell. So there is no safety net moving forwards. Oh shit. Which means we've got one of two things. No life it, and I mean, no life it. We said we'd do this anyway, and when I say no life, I mean everything is as ham as possible, especially for the next three months, because we've now got three months to make it work, and not nine. Or drop your hours, and you find something part-time, or we'll find you some plastering stuff to do, or something to make it up and I'll pay you half and then you find half somewhere else. Because with how sustainable this is about to not be, <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. Uh, fuck me. Oh well, it was fun whilst it lasted. So we can know life if you want, but there's when no, I say- There's no- Don't say there's no point because I've been no, in this spot. I've, no I've been in this position before. You know that there's a point. You know that we can pull it back from it. But we're talking like get in at seven and not leave till like 11. <laughs> cancel every extra expense, cancel everything. We go for the bare minimum. I've done it before with two of us, we can do it again. And I just bought a CEO book on how to be a good CEO. <laughs> Doesn't feel like I'm following the book well yet. Have you read it yet? No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, shit. I mean, we can hope that, obviously, with the release of MW2, profits will increase. But that's a risk saying that, because we said that with Caldera, and it decreased. And if MW2, sequel's never as good as the fucking prequel, right? Looking at an increase, or no difference whatsoever. And it could potentially go down. If we don't want to no life it, in that regard, I still will, because I'm way too invested in this now but we could set up like a landscaping firm and we can go out landscaping during the day to make up the wage at least it's not going back I, no. at least it's not going back to what it was before and we'll do like six hour days fucking in the shit back in the mud and then 
two hours working on everything else at the end, I'll go live and I'll start doing longer streams again. And then I'll know live the other companies in the evening. I won't need to go to the gym, so I'm at least saving 50 quid a month on the gym. <laughs> what do you want to do? It's entirely up to you. I mean, we've got the options, I guess. None of it's ideal, but we've got the options. Like, you you would realistically have to learn everything, like, without my help. And try and cram, like, three years of knowledge and probably a year's worth of new knowledge in the next month or two. With minimal input from me. <laughs> yeah. It's doable, but even then you're still no life in it. Because, I mean, like... <clears throat> If you look at this, you realise I was just fucking with you. <laughs> you know I would do that to you, brother. This camera's been set up since Friday. I've already got the intro filmed on that camera. <laughs> you know I would do that to me. You know I would do that to you. Like, I'll tell you, brother. Like, you, you know that full well I would not have that conversation and come up with that that quickly. I would, I would go away and think about it for a week before I even put this up. <laughs> I could see you shaking, I felt well bad. That was hard for you to do. <laughs> You're a that was hard for you to do. Yeah, of course right. it was. Oh dear. Right, let me get you some lunch yeah. coming.